Hey guys, we're back. Uh, today we are going to be putting some new parts on the 300ZX to go and get it ready for the track. So here we got a battery tie down that I need to go and put on, otherwise it's not allowed, won't pass tech. And then I got some brand new uh, lug nuts. So I'll, I'll be replacing the wheel studs, the rears, and then here's the fronts. There's only five broken in the rear and five in the, well, there's technically like two in the front that are broken, but I got extras just in case. We also have to go and grab out of the 350Z. Hey, look at B. We have to go and grab uh, the fire extinguisher and mount and mount it into the 300ZX. So let's get going. So I was about to, I was looking for my battery tie down holder, top piece. I was like, where is it? Man, I can't find it. Like I'm looking throughout the whole car. I'm like, where the heck is it? I go over to the battery and I'm like messing with the battery and it's like really moving like it was like moving a lot I was like what the heck I disconnect the battery I pick up the battery really quick it's sitting under it made it the whole drive like 3,800 miles without falling out so that was pretty nice All right. let's see shall we there we go. Ta-da! And... Nice. Hi! I got you! Don't, don't let go of me now! There we go. That's a one. All right, so I just bent it a little bit and it made it a little bit taller. Now, let's see if I can get this rubber piece on. That might be a stretch. Ugh. Yeah, we might have to do that after. Let's see, where, 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 ah, yes, they are there. Oops. Yeah, yeah, look at you go. Let's see if it starts. Sweet. So I just realized, I was like, why is the right side hitting and the left side isn't? So the left side, you know, it's looking good. Nothing. The right side, or the driver's side, it's rubbing. Messed up the fender. I was kind of like, what the heck? This is the spare wheel, which has a taller sidewall tire on the side versus the other side. The other side has the same size as this, which is a 40 sidewall. So I'll be changing out this rim with the other one. <clears throat>
All right, so we have this studs broken, this one, that one. So three studs are broken on this. Um, these two are all right for at least right now. Um, so I'm gonna replace these three. So I believe I need to take the brake off, take the rotor off caliper. All right, so to get the rear brake caliper off, you have two 17s, one right here, one on the bottom. I can't see because I'm not looking back there. You got one here, 117, and 117 here. After I get those out, this should come off, and then there might be a screw under here. I'm not positive, I didn't look. If not, nope, there's no screw. All right, so once this is off, uh, this will come out, and then I can go and start beating these out. All right, uh, once these two bolts were out, uh, I was able to just grab the caliper, slid right off, set it up here, and then pull off the rotor, set it on the ground. Um, I just put the car in neutral, so I should be able to rotate this so I can then hit this and put it out so then I can go and pull it through and then put in a new one. So all you do was take a hammer, hit the end of it, push right through, fell down. I just grabbed it, pulled it out. Now I'm gonna go and put in a new one. It was actually rather easy because this car is from the south. It goes and uh, there's not really much rust on it other than the hatch. For some... All right, so one wheel stud is in. Uh, we're gonna tighten it down. We're gonna put this on it and then go and tighten it down with a lug nut so that it doesn't mess anything up. Ta -da. And that's how you go and put in a new stud. Now I have three more to do on this side. All right, so we have the three new studs on. These two were good still, and I have brand new uh, lug nuts that I'll be throwing onto it. So everything should be perfect here. I'm going to go and throw the rotor on and then go and uh, throw on the uh, caliper. And everything should, everything should go and be perfect. I might have to compress this brake though. Brakes back on, all you have to do, slide this back on. But the, uh, yeah, I might have to spread the brakes apart and then uh, like push the pistons in and then put the caliper on, put the two bolts in, tighten it all back up, that should be good. Set your wheel on and then put your new, your new lug nuts on with your new studs and you're good to go. All right, so I realized that I didn't go and show you guys how to actually do the studs on this, so I'll show you on this side how to actually do it. That one's out. That's how you put on a new wheel stud. Easy as that. Now you just tighten up your caliper bolts after going and sliding on your rotor and caliper. You just tighten up your two bolts. Good 
go. Time to put a wheel on. The rear is finished. We will now move on to the front. I... All right, so on this side, uh, it had four that were messed up. We have one good one, replacing those four. Uh, so this has a hard brake line on it. So I just took it off just to get the rotor off and then set that back on, uh, back in its spot. So I didn't have any issues with bending the line or anything. So time to put in the new one and then or the new ones and then after that uh take this back off put the rotor on put the caliper back on and then we should be good to go all right so we have front wheel back on all new studs on except for one uh spacer is back on uh and it is a hub centric so the wheel fits nice and tight on the center of it so it is awesome uh we're gonna go and do a test drive here in a minute uh I'm gonna have to put some wood down because I didn't raise it and I know in about five minutes I'll have to bring it back in and lift it up unless by some miracle it doesn't rub which is probably not gonna happen but you know we all we all have dreams and ambitions so hopefully this will be one of them that comes true so we'll see guys so I had to go and raise the uh, the car up about an inch it was just rubbing too much so uh, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes all right so I took it for a test drive and the right side is still rubbing so I'm going to lift it up and readjust the coil over one more time and hopefully it'll be good this time. So these two are tight. So it's just spinning this, not tightening up the spring. So you can just go like that. And that turns this whole, this whole thing right here. So that'll go and push up, which pushes that down. All right, so I raised the front of the car about two inches. Uh, if it goes and rubs now, I'll be pretty stressed out. So we're just going to see how it goes right now.
just happened? <laughs> what happened? Oopsie. Alrighty guys, so that goes and closes out the video for today. Uh, we, I ended up getting the, all the studs done, uh, raised the front up. Tomorrow we'll end up putting in the fire extinguisher and probably washing the car, loading it up on the trailer so that, and maybe uh, putting some hooks on the trailer so it's easier to mount the car onto it. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. And then next video after that, we'll be heading to the track. If you guys liked the video, uh, hit the like button. If you don't like it, tell me what you didn't like about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Uh, scratch is still really smoky. Bye!